Hello everyone, Cheryl Ann here. I just wanted to do an update on Storyteller and let everybody know that this morning before lunch, I was able to get all three signatures in with no problems. It was just amazing. She is all done. The pages are all the right way. And uh, I'm not going to do another flip through because I already did one. And there's there's nothing new that I've I've added except to get the signatures sewn in. I did add. I did add. This is <laughs> it's an old charm thing that I made a long time ago. I've never used it, but I wanted to put on the. I wanted to put on the tree. Do you ever have a journal that you just have a real attachment to? Well, that's this one. She and I have been through some really rough spots. And uh, I feel like we kind of mutually respect each other now. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this one. Uh, she, By the way, she is 12 by 10. She's an absolute monster. Just, I love this fabric. She has Storyteller there. It has Storyteller here. And then again here. And then up here. I'd love to make this. I'd love, oh, and right here. Look at that. Oh, it's right there. I did go to Joanne's this morning and buy five, six different colors of number 10 crochet thread. Um, which I have, I have used, and one of them was this, it was gray and black, and it's kind of mottled, just like, you know, and, and it, <laughs> I have threads all over, it really goes well with this, this cover, but uh, she'll, be, she'll be a prototype, I, I might, I might make another one, I, I doubt it will be this size, though, the, the, <sighs> 12 inch size see now this is this is 12 inch um what do you call it um a scrapbook paper but even see that even that there's a there's another <laughs> there's another inch there so i did measure and she was 12 inches um i think what it was i think i cut off the brand name from the top of that but this ledger paper which i usually have to cut down um i didn't have to cut this down at all and this is one i got at the thrift store it was it was 4.99 at the thrift store but this ledger paper this graph paper it's not ledger paper graph paper is it's really nice and thick and um I really like it. So she's she's done. She's got uh, 13 sheets of paper times three. So it's 30. So let's 39. Let's say 40 times three times four. Right. She's got 13, 13, 13. So it's 39. We'll just call it 40. And then four sides. That's 160 sides. So. You know, she's she's a big girl, and like I said, I'm I'm emotionally attached to her now. But wouldn't it be fun to take just a plain muslin and do some stamping and some acrylics and make your own? Oh, there's Storyteller there on the front, and make your own. I think that would be fun. And then here's there's the inside. See, and that's what threw me off because. <laughs> I was doing it before. It, it made sense. Because, see, everything is kind of sideways except for that one. And I just, I didn't catch the fact that I was doing the signatures upside down. I've been pouring through my old um, art journal, the Stamperia ones, and um, the other, a couple other magazines. I think Bella, Bella something. I can't think of it now. Um, it had it had some papers that I cut out and put in here just to give it some color. Like that's really cute. I thought, well, I've got all these magazines around here. And I'm not using them, so 
It's got the little poems. And this is the, uh, what do you call it? Lindy's Gang. They're, um, mm. they're little powders and you mix them, you put water on them and then they just spread. They're really cute. So they're really fun. So there's all kinds of fun papers in here. I might, I don't know, I might, I might use this. See, I, don't really use mine as art journals. I like to write in mine, so I don't know. Maybe it'll be my garden. <sighs> my garden one, although I should make a garden one, so it won't be the garden one. No, I'll just I'll just use it. Maybe I'll put my thoughts about books, although, see, that has garden tools. I might put my thoughts about books. I, I don't know, but I'm not giving her up because she and I have just been through way too much to ever part with her. Ever. So, um, just wanted to give you a little update that she's now all put back together like she should be. My little storyteller. I did order more of this fabric. I'm getting two whole yards of it. I'm like, I really like that fabric. It's got black and brown and gray and kind of a green. And it, you see, it is stamped Storyteller and Storyteller. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put this little charm on. It's been sitting around for a couple years. I've never used it. And it's just got kind of odds and ends. There's another tree. I think there's a star. Yeah, and here's a little sun and cloud. So I thought, you know, that would go perfect because she's kind of eclectic and so is that. So anyway, that's just a little update for you. She's done. I'm done. Uh, I've been making these little, these are single signature journals that I'm giving away on my buy nothing group. I've got so many people interested in these. And they're just, like I said, they're just single signature. And these are made with a paper bag. But people want these. They're kind of cute. So I'm just, I'm using up, see there's another one of those Lindy's Gang things. So I'm just, I'm using up my old, um, my old digitals and papers and, you know, stencil papers and just whatever I have around and people people want these. And these are these are only like thirteen or fourteen or fifteen papers folded in half. So at the most they're sixty pages. But you know, for somebody for the month, for a couple months, some uh some guy wanted this one. I'm like, sure. Cause it's kind of masculine looking. He doesn't want flowers and stuff like that. And then another lady, she actually wanted the bug one. She said, oh, I love the bug one. I have tons of this fabric. So, and it's 122 here today. I'm going to stay inside this afternoon after my nap and um, make some more of these. And these all come with two little charms on them, one inside and one that hangs down. So I, I hope people like that. And I love to pull the threads out especially on this girl this big girl she's got she has got threads all over and I just keep pulling them out okay another thread I'll have to cut that one but uh she's yeah no we're 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 joined at the hip now <laughs> she's mine but I would like to make another one just not not this big I think I think it might be 11 or 10 inches because the 12 gets kind of unwieldy. Now, I did do a five sig five uh, whole pamphlet stitch, and I'm quite comfortable with that now. So um, I don't have a problem with that, as I did before. I couldn't figure where you go in and out. How do you do this? So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. So I went for it, and I did it, and now I'm really comfortable with it. So... That's not a problem anymore. So anyway, 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until my next adventure, bye for now.